so today I'm talking about a Chevy or GMC with the P0446 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0446 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission control system, vent control circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. This is for emissions. And the onboard computer seen a problem inside of this, and so it's going to have to be troubleshooted. No, why? And there can be some differences on what's going on inside of the EVAP system depending on the year and the type of Chevy or GMC and things like this. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your specific vehicle to know for sure what's going on inside of the system. But the basics of what's going on is that gas vapors are going to leave the gas tank. They're going to go through a hose over to what's called a vapor charcoal canister. And this does a few things. It's kind of like storage for the gas vapors. And somewhere near the charcoal canister or quite often on it is what's going to be called the vent valve. And the vent valve does different things. The onboard computer uses this to test the system by closing it and seeing if the system's sealed and things like this. When it's open, it's basically venting to the outside air. And then a hose is going to leave the charcoal canister. It's going to go up to the top of the engine in what's called a purge valve. And the purge valve basically just opens when the engine's running so the gas vapors can go in and get burnt off. And then it closes when the computer tells it to so the gas vapors don't escape. And this whole system needs to be sealed or else there can cause issues. And the gas cap is a part of this. It needs to seal up correctly. And so for this reason, the first thing to go and check is going to be the gas cap. Be sure that it looks good. Be sure there's no cracks. It's not damaged. That it's sealing up correctly and things like this. And this is going to include the new Chevys and GMCs that don't have the gas cap. If you do have one of these, then just go check it out. Be sure this is all sealing up correctly and that there's no issues going on. Because if that's leaking, then it's going to cause an EVAP leak and that'll cause issues. The most common cause of this code is going to be that there's something going on with this vent valve and there's some kind of issues going on with it. And this is going to be located underneath the vehicle with the charcoal canister by the gas tank somewhere. Sometimes the vent valve is separate from the charcoal canister, but quite often it can be built into the charcoal canister. So it's going to vary a little bit. It's just going to depend on the vehicle and the year and the make and things like this. But the next thing to go and do is to locate that vent valve and to check it out and to test it. Check out the wiring. Be sure there's no open shorts, bad connections, anything like this. That vent valve is basically just a solenoid that just opens and closes when the computer tells it to. So there's different ways you can go about testing it. You can apply power to it and see if it opens or closes. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, some of them will have an option to enable or disable it. And you can hear it click and things like this. But the next thing to go and do is to check out that vent valve and be sure that it's good. And like I said, quite often it's combined into the charcoal canister. If that vent valve checks good, then the next thing to do is to try to see if there's a leak going on somewhere inside of all these hoses that's going around everything. And this is going to include from the gas cap to the charcoal canister up to the top of the engine where the purge valve is. And so while you can't go around and try to examine all these hoses and see if there's anything cracked or loose or damaged or anything like that, it can be difficult to try to find a leak inside of these EVAP systems. So if you took it to a mechanic, very likely what they would do is they use a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the EVAP system. And then basically wherever the smoke comes out, they'll know where the leak's at and they'll know what they need to fix. There's some low-cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. I'll put a link down below if you need one. You can also make these up yourself. There's some good YouTube videos on how you can make these up for like $5, 10 And so there's some different ways you go about trying to find out if there's a leak inside of the system somewhere. But basically you just got to go around to all these hoses and all these components and check to see if anything's leaking. The next thing that could cause this is that there's something going on with that charcoal canister. It's clogged up. It's leaking. There's some kind of issue going on with it. So the next thing to go and examine is going to be that charcoal canister. Up on top of the engine somewhere is going to be what's called the purge valve. And usually if the purge valve goes bad, you're going to get another code. But it is something to keep in mind, and it can also be tested. And just like the vent valve, it's just a solenoid that opens and closes when the computer tells it to. I made a video on how you could test these. I'll put a link down below if you need to check it out. But the next thing that could be checked is the purge valve. And also keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, bad connection, anything along these lines going to all the different components, that if there's any issues going on, then it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad component. So be sure to keep that in mind. If you check everything and everything tests good, that vent valve tests good, that purge valve tests good, there's no leaks, there's nothing going on, then the next thing to go and check is going to be the fuel tank pressure sensor. And the fuel tank pressure sensor is basically just reporting back to the computer what's going on inside of the system. And so if that pressure sensor fails, there might not be no issue going on inside the system, but the computer just thinks there is since that sensor sent in bad data to it. These sensors are located differently. Again, it's going to depend on the Chevy or GMC type. 
and the year and things like this. They can be located directly on top of the gas tank. And sometimes they're located right on the fuel pump itself. But the next thing to go and check is going to be that fuel tank pressure sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Chevy or GMC with the P0446 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.